Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Mead. Today we are going to learn about the mechanism and regulation of salivary secretion. Before we move on, let's briefly discuss the gland secreting saliva, its composition and functions. Saliva is produced by three pairs of salivary glands that drain into oral cavity. They are parotid gland, submandibular gland, and sublingual gland. Parotid gland is composed of serous cells which contribute to 20% of the secretion. Submandibular gland is composed of both serous and mucous cells which contribute to 70% of the secretion. Sublingual gland is composed of mucous cells which contribute to 5% of the secretion. Histologically, the secretory unit of saliva is composed of acinus, intercalated ducts, striated ducts, and myoepithelial cells. About 1000 to 1500 ml of saliva is secreted per day. Let's discuss the composition of saliva. Saliva is composed of water, electrolytes, alpha amylase, lingua lipase, calicrine, and mucus. Now, what are the functions of saliva? It includes initial digestion of starches and lipids by salivary enzymes, dilution and buffering of ingested foods, lubrication of ingested food with mucus to aid its movement through esophagus. Now let's talk about saliva secretion. It occurs in two stages. The first being secretion in acinus and the second is secretion in ducts. Secretion in acinus. Acinar cells secrete initial saliva which is isotonic. The osmolarity, sodium, potassium, chloride and bicarbonate concentration of initial saliva are similar to those in plasma. Now the next step is secretion in ducts. The ductal cells modify the initial saliva. The luminal membrane of the ductal cells contains three transporters, sodium hydrogen exchange, chloride bicarbonate exchange, hydrogen potassium exchange, the basolateral membrane contains sodium potassium ATPs and chloride channels. The combined action of these transporters working together is absorption of sodium and chloride and secretion of potassium and bicarbonate. So, concentration of sodium and chloride are lower than the plasma concentration and concentration of potassium and bicarbonate are higher than their plasma concentration. Now, a question may arise, how does saliva, which was initially isotonic, become hypotonic as it flows through the ducts? Well, the answer is due to the water impermeability of the ductal cells. As a result, water is not absorbed along with the solute, making final saliva hypotonic. SNR cells also secrete organic constituents such as alpha amylase, lingual lipase, mucin glycoproteins, immunoglobulin A, and calicrine. Moving on to effect of flow rate on composition of saliva. At highest flow rates, Final saliva most closely resembles plasma and initial saliva. At lowest flow rates, final saliva is most dissimilar to plasma. Talking about the regulation of salivary secretion. Salivary secretion is exclusively under neural control by autonomic nervous system. It is increased by both parasympathetic and sympathetic stimulation although parasympathetic stimulation is dominant. Parasympathetic stimulation. It favors abundant watery secretion reaching enzymes and occurs via cranial nerves, glossopharyngeal nerve innervating parotid gland and facial nerve innervating submandibular and sublingual glands. Sympathetic stimulation. 
It favors viscous secretion and takes place by preganglionic nerves in the thoracic segment of the spinal cord which synapse with the postganglionic neurons. Reflex secretion The reflex secretion it is increased by two types of salivary reflexes unconditioned and conditioned unconditioned it is present since birth conditioned it is due to smell and the thought of food thank you if you enjoyed this video do not forget to like share and subscribe